Fossils are perhaps one of the most fascinating wonders of the world today. From ancient monsters to our earliest ancestors, these prehistoric snapshots give us a glimpse into what the world was like long before we ever came onto the scene. But sometimes, these snapshots go beyond anything we could ever imagine, from perfectly preserved feathers to intricately detailed dinosaur babies. Here are seven of the most amazing fossils ever preserved in amber. Anyone who is remotely familiar with ancient animals should be familiar with the word fossils. The evidence of ancient life that's been preserved over a long time, like the bones of a dinosaur, a shell, or even a footprint. Fossils are more or less nature's timestamp to tell us about the wonderful and mind-numbing creatures that came before us. From ancient humans to towering dinosaurs and extinct plants, fossils have shaped all we know about Earth's history and are the borderline of fields like paleontology. But how are they formed? Well, the process of making a fossil starts when a living creature, like a fish or a dinosaur, dies. Its remains then sink to the bottom of a lake or fall onto the ground, where they get quickly buried under layers of mud, sand, or dirt. This burial is very crucial because it protects the remains from being eaten by scavengers or destroyed by the weather. Over millions of years, more and more layers of dirt pile on top, creating immense pressure. Soon enough, slowly, the organic material in the remains is replaced by minerals seeping in from the surrounding sediment. Bit by bit, the remains harden into rock, transforming into a fossil. Eventually, erosion or excavation reveals these preserved treasures, allowing us to uncover and study them. Now this is how traditional fossils like this, this, and this are formed. But this isn't the only type of fossil out there. Sometimes, small creatures like insects, spiders, or even bits of plants get trapped in the resin while it's still gooey. Once trapped, these unlucky organisms are sealed off from air and decay, perfectly preserving their details. Right down to their wings or fur. Over time, layers of dirt and sand cover the resin, and with enough pressure and heat, it transforms into amber, locking its tiny captives in a clear golden embrace. Now, these fossils are special because they preserve soft tissues and intricate details that regular fossils can't. Essentially, they show us rare traits like delicate insect legs or the veins in leaves. Amber fossils are priceless because they give scientists an extraordinary peek into the ecosystems of ancient forests, showing us what life was like millions of years ago, perfectly frozen in time. So with that said, what are some amazing examples of these time capsules? Burmese amber lizards. Perhaps the most infamous example of an animal fossilized in amber is the Retinosaurus camtiensis, a juvenile lizard trapped in Burmese amber. Now, the fact that it's trapped in amber is more than enough reason to be intrigued, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. This creature actually offers us a stunning snapshot of life from 110 million years ago, during the time of the early Cretaceous period. Preserved in remarkable clarity, this tiny creature, measuring about 35 millimeters or 3.5 centimeters in length, has an intricately preserved skull, four limbs, and pectoral girdle, essentially giving scientists a detailed view of its structure. And sure, its box-shaped skull and short jaws distinguish it from other lizards of its time, but that is nothing compared to the most astonishing part of its preservation. Somehow, thanks to its preservation in amber, its soft tissues, such as scales and fingertips, have been kept completely intact. But how did this happen in the first place? The preservation process likely began when the lizard fell into resin flowing from an araucarian tree. This resin acts as a natural protection against bark damage and quickly hardens, trapping the lizard inside and preventing decay. Found in the Kamti district of northern Myanmar, the site where these lizards are found is known for yielding some of the best of the best preserved forms of ancient life. With all that said, what does this fossil tell us? According to studies, the tropical rainforest environment of the time, coupled with estuarine regions, suggests a rich biodiversity where both terrestrial and marine organisms thrived. Studies show that Retinosaurus likely lived in this lush ecosystem, possibly feeding on insects and small vertebrates, though details about its daily life remain speculative. Although scientists are still studying this ancient find that shows us the path of reptile evolution, one thing is clear. Each amber fossil is a time capsule, preserving fragments of ancient life that would otherwise be lost to history. Speaking of lost to history, lizards aren't the only animals that have been fossilized in amber. And the next one is one of the oldest examples of a caring mother we have to date. Wathandara Kotajai. 
Perplexing name aside, the Wathundara kotajai is a truly amazing fossil that offers a rare glimpse into the lives of insects from a whopping 100 million years ago. Found in Burmese amber, this ancient insect was trapped in tree resin that eventually hardened into amber, perfectly preserving its tiny details. But besides being an amber fossil of a bug that shared the earth with the mighty T. rex, what truly makes the Wathundara kotajai so special is the way it shows us early signs of motherhood in insects. See, the fossilized insect happened to be a female scale insect, and this mother was carrying about 60 eggs and six baby nymphs safely tucked away in a protective sack on her belly. This behavior, known as brood care, helped protect the young from predators and harsh conditions until they were ready to face the world on their own. And honestly, this behavior is not too dissimilar from what we see in mothers today across many species. The environment back then was a lush tropical forest, similar to the ones we know today, but even more vibrant. These forests were full of plants and creatures, providing plenty of food and hiding places for insects and the Wathundara kotajai. As for what she, as for what it ate, the scale insect likely fed on plants and spent her day protecting her young, essentially ensuring that the next generation would survive and thrive. The discovery of this fossil was a game changer for scientists. It showed that insects were caring for their offspring much earlier in history than we ever thought, challenging what we knew about how behaviors like this developed. This little insect, trapped in amber, gave us a powerful glimpse into the past and changed how we understood the evolution of parental care in insects. But it wasn't the only discovered insect trapped in amber, and the next one might seem a bit more familiar. The 99 million year old ants. Although they seem small and unassuming, ants first appeared around 140 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. For reference, they existed alongside the pterosaurs and triceratops around 138 million years before Homo erectus. Evolving from wasp-like ancestors and adapting over time to various environments, the humble ant has been around for a while and even survived in extinction that wiped out around 80% of the world's species. Besides all these, they are one of the most captivating discoveries in amber fossilization. Named Ceratomyrmex elembergeri, this fossilized ant was a species of hell ant, dating back an astonishing 99 million years to the late Cretaceous period. Now, finding any creature trapped in amber is remarkable enough, but this specimen was a true fossil jackpot, as it offered a snapshot of predatory ant with some seriously creepy features. For one, this little ant, preserved in perfect detail, is not just your average bug. Its mandibles resemble scythe-like blades, moving vertically, which, as you can already tell, is a far cry from the typical lateral motion seen in modern ants. Built for business, what truly sets the Ceratomimex apart wasn't just its chillingly efficient hunting tools. No, it was the horn-like protrusion on its head, which likely helped it pin down or impale its prey, making it one of the deadliest creatures of its time. It truly puts a spin on small but mighty. So how did this ant get itself trapped in amber? Well, much like the Retinosaurus, it most likely found itself ensnared by tree resin, which hardened over time and preserved its body in pristine condition. Found in the Hukawang Valley of Myanmar, a hotspot for amber discoveries, this specimen isn't just another insect fossil. It offers a rare look into the Cretaceous ecosystem, where Ceratomyrmex probably hunted small prey using its powerful mandibles and perhaps even stung its catch to paralyze it. Researchers believe that this hell ant, with its complex features, thrived in the tropical forests of its time, rich in both plants and animal life, but also faced fierce competition and natural challenges. Today, the Ceratomyrmex discovery is a window into a world long gone, a time when ants were evolving in unique and terrifying ways. These kinds of fossils don't just tell us about the animals, they paint a vivid picture of life millions of years ago. And sometimes the fossils go a step further and simply shock the world. And the next one did just that. Fluffy dinosaur feathers. When you think of dinosaurs, fluffy is not a word that crosses the mind. Sure, you can say scaly, bony, hard, or maybe even dry, but fluffy seems impossible. At least that's what the world thought, until the discovery of fluffy dinosaur feathers trapped in amber stunned everyone and showed us an unexpected glimpse into the distant past. See, in 2016, one of the most exciting discoveries took place in Myanmar, where a piece of amber was found containing a dinosaur tail with preserved feathers. This find was a breakthrough in understanding the link between dinosaurs and birds, proving that these creatures weren't just scaly reptiles, but vibrant, feathered animals with complex behaviors. Suddenly, what we knew about how dinosaurs looked, behaved, and evolved changed. And soon enough, we found out that the terrible lizards evolved into modern birds. Okay, let me explain. 
These feathers, found primarily on theropod dinosaurs, are considered to be proto-feathers, the earliest stage in the evolution of feathers. They were discovered in amber deposits by researchers Ryan McKellar from the University of Alberta, shedding light on creatures such as Coelurosaurians, which were small dinosaurs that may have looked more bird-like than we ever imagined. The process of preservation was the same as with other fossils, only this time, when a dinosaur, possibly covered in protofeathers, got caught in flowing tree resin, the sticky substance hardened around it, protecting it from decay. This process effectively locked the feathers in place for up to 100 million years, preserving intricate details such as their colour patterns and fibre structures. Like other animals on this list, the dinosaur that wore these fluffy feathers likely lived in tropical or subtropical environments filled with trees and lush plant life. These small creatures, possibly warm-blooded, may have used their feathers for insulation, much like modern birds. To be fair, some feathers likely had other roles, like attracting mates or aiding in gliding suggesting that these early dinosaurs were on the evolutionary path towards flight. The implications of these discoveries are vast, as they change our understanding of dinosaur evolution and the role feathers played in survival, ultimately bridging the gap between dinosaurs and birds. Now, animals weren't the only things preserved in amber, and the next one truly shocked scientists. 40 million year old carnivorous plant, Traditionally, when we hear fossils, we don't usually think of plants, and even when we do, we mostly think of imprints and molds. However, that all changed with the discovery of a 40 million year old carnivorous plant preserved in amber. Nothing short of a scientific marvel, this extraordinary find shed light on the ancient world of predatory plants and their role in shaping ecosystems millions of years ago. The plant, belonging to the Rorodulacae family, is believed to be closely related to modern species found in South Africa. The fossilized plant, preserved in Baltic amber, features two leaves that have been perfectly encased in tree resin, which eventually hardened into amber, preserving the intricate details of the plant's structure. What makes this discovery so special is the sheer preservation of the plant's carnivorous adaptations. It's so pristine that from the fossil we can tell the leaves show fine details, such as multicellular stalked glands and unicellular hairs, which modern Rorodula species today use to trap and hold insects. As for where they live, these plants thrive in nutrient-poor environments and relied on a fascinating symbiotic relationship with assassin bugs. See, the bug feeds on the trapped insects, and it returns the favour by enriching the plants with nitrogen-rich waste. Though we can't say for certain how this ancient plant used its sticky traps, the similarities to modern species suggest it had a similar survival method. The fossil discovery was made in the Yantani amber mine in Russia, a region famous for its amber deposits. And this discovery was simply shocking, as it proved that Rorodula was not confined to South Africa as previously thought, but had a much broader range during the Eocene Epoch. This particular find opens up a wealth of possibilities for understanding the co-evolution of plants and insects, the ecological dynamics of ancient habitats, and of course, the evolutionary history of carnivorous plants. A 99 million years old bird, one of the most extraordinary finds in terms of amber fossils, was the discovery of a fossilized Electoronis chenguanji. This fossilized prehistoric bird turned heads as it gave us an incredible glimpse into the ancient world of birds. I mean, this was a small extinct bird from the Cretaceous period that lived around 99 million years ago and was part of the enigmatic Enantionithes group. Found in Myanmar, this remarkable specimen was found with its delicate feathers and bones perfectly preserved in hardened tree resin. Upon further study, researchers would find that this bird was quite different from the ones that call our planet home today. One of the most captivating features of Electoronis chenguanji was its long third toe which was a bizarrely elongated structure that was almost 40% longer than its second toe. This toe was likely an adaptation for grasping tree branches, hinting at its arboreal lifestyle. But as we mentioned, the fossil revealed not just bones, but also detailed impressions of feathers, essentially telling us all about the bird's physical traits, which was a mix of ancient avian features with traits we recognize in modern birds today. The Electoronis Shenguanji changed how we looked at ancient birds, as it offered important clues about the ecological roles of these majestic creatures. It likely lived in the lush tropical forests of the late Cretaceous, feeding on small invertebrates and plants. Its ability to fly, although probably limited, and its specialized toes suggest it had adapted to navigate its forested environment with ease. Essentially, like most fossils, the discovery of this bird deepened our understanding of avian evolution and brought us closer to the moment when birds diverged from their dinosaur ancestors. 
Speaking of dinosaurs, no topic on fossils is complete without a nod to the giants that ruled the Earth for millions of years. But this time, what scientists stumbled across was a discovery that left everyone's jaw on the floor. Dinosaur egg. When we hear dinosaur fossils, the first thing that comes to mind are massive giant skeletons like this or this. However, the world of science was thrown into a frenzy when scientists discovered this little fossil. What you're looking at is an oviraptor hatchling trapped in amber. Essentially, this is a well-preserved dinosaur baby. This little creature, dating back around 99 million years to the late Cretaceous period, was preserved with incredible detail in tree resin, now hardened into amber. This fossil, although unassuming, was simply breathtaking. After all, it's a tiny dinosaur, no bigger than a modern-day bird, caught in the act of hatching and frozen in time with insane preserved details. This hatchling isn't just any fossil, it's a snapshot of life from an era when lush, subtropical forests thrived and the world was filled with a diverse array of plants and animals. The oviraptor, known for its bird-like beak and feathered body, is part of a group of theropods that are considered crucial in understanding the evolution of modern birds. And as if it was a gift from the universe to modern scientists, the amber encased not only skeletal remains, but also feather impressions, providing an unprecedented glimpse into the texture and structure of ancient feathers. The environment it lived in was teeming with life, and the other raptor hatchling likely roamed these forests, quick on its feet, possibly feeding on small creatures and eggs. This fossil was a rare find, offering insights into the early stages of dinosaur development, behavior, and even hints at parental care, which, by the way, are traits that link these ancient reptiles to their avian descendants. What makes this specimen even more remarkable is the fact that because of it, scientists can now better understand how dinosaurs adapted over millions of years, bridging the gap between ancient creatures and the birds we see today. So there you have it, seven jaw-dropping examples of fossils preserved in amber that take us on a wild ride through time. From lizards frozen mid-moment, to fluffy dinosaur feathers redefining what we know about ancient creatures, amber has truly been nature's ultimate time capsule. But what do you think? Do these tiny snapshots of prehistoric life make you rethink how fragile and fascinating our planet's history is? Or do you have a favorite fossil from this list that completely blew your mind? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and stay amazed.